Uh, what's up, YouTube? So, <clears throat> welcome to my martial arts channel. Uh, my name is Gibran, and thanks for tuning in. I just broke my fast. I don't know, a little bit flabby. Can't really tell, but <laughs> the whole idea about this channel is that in six months' time, you know, as I'm building my web presence here for my singer-songwriter channel, um, I've been in some kind of compromising situations on the street. Um, you know, being a fourth degree black belt in Taekwondo, but a little guy, you know, I've never had that much confidence in myself, I mean, to be honest with you. So, um, I wanted to start from the, from the ground up, from the basics, and kind of, you know, assuming that you're warmed up, check out just like the 10 minute video I have with some quick warm ups. And if you want to do cool down to work on the abs, um, which I know I got to do a little bit more, um, check out that video too. So, there's two videos for warm up and cool down, so we can focus this small seven minute video on uh, how to get you fight ready. Okay, so here we go. So, first and foremost, the most important thing, once you're warmed up, is your fighting stance. So let's talk about the fighting stance today. Okay, so your fighting stance, if you're right handed, is gonna be right foot back, right hand back, because that's your power hand. Okay, that's what you're gonna strike with, with your knee, or with your you know, hand, your fist. All right, <clears throat> and I'll just give you a quick synopsis. There's seven techniques on the left side and seven techniques on the right side I want to cover. When I was teaching kickboxing, um, these are the seven techniques I used to teach, right? So from your fighting stance, which I'm going to talk about more in detail later, first strike is a jab, okay? That's the number one. <clears throat> Second strike is a cross, boom. That's the same thing with the right hand. That's number two. Third is a lead hook. Boom. That's so number three. Fourth is a power hook. Same thing with the, with the other hand. It can be an overhand as well in mixed martial arts. Five is a lead uppercut. Boom. Six is a power uppercut. Boom. Seven, eight, nine, and ten are kicks. So let's talk about before we do the kicks. There's uh, elbows, which don't have any numbers. So lead elbow, power elbow, lead knee, and power knee. Boom. Okay. So these are from Muay Thai, which is Thai kickboxing. Um, very dangerous, but those are, those are essential for street self-defense as well. And then, <clears throat> again, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And seven is a lead front kick, boom. Eight is a power front kick, boom. So same thing with your right leg. Nine is a lead roundhouse kick, boom. You will spin. And 10 is a power roundhouse with the back leg. All right. My lead leg, uh, unfortunately, on the street, I had to knock out a guy, you know, got in trouble for it, but I thought my life was in danger. So left leg, you know, kind of caught him across the face. Um, don't let people underestimate you, that's my, my lesson. So let's start from the beginning. The fighting stance, okay, you wanna make sure that your shoulders are squared, okay? But you don't want to face your opponent, so you don't want to leave yourself open and exposed. So kind of turn, and we're assuming that you're right-handed, which means that your right hand is back, that's called orthodox. Um, if you're left-handed, I'm actually left-handed, uh, but I do a lot of things with my right hand as well. So if you're left-handed, you can be southpaw, which is, that means your left hand is back. So if you're left-handed, just do the same thing, but just flip it, okay? So <clears throat> you're right-handed, let's assume orthodox, you have your right hand back, okay? You have your right foot back. You don't want your stance to be too wide, not too low, okay? You wanna make sure it's about shoulder width wide. Now, in Taekwondo, I learned a lot. I used to get trouble for, <laughs> you know, for, for having my shoulders too, too tense and too stiff. Try to stay relaxed, just like you're walking, you know? Just like you're comfortable, you're walking. So, my fighting stance, uh, to not make it obvious that you're a fighter, you're gonna get in probably more fights like that. If you're like, oh, come on, you know, bring it on. But you know, just you want to be in a comfortable feet by shoulder width apart, like, like a neutral position. So if I'm standing like this, my fighting position is essentially the same thing. Lead shoulder in front. Okay, now probably the most important thing, what you do with your, your hands and your face. Okay, your face is the most important part of your body. You want to protect it at all times, okay? So your chin, you cannot have your chin sticking up in the air like this. I noticed from watching my own videos, like my chin is way up in the air. I used to get in trouble for that all the time too, when I was sparring in Taekwondo. 
Um, when you keep your, your um, head um, up, you make yourself an easy target, so keep your chin down. Okay, so your chin is down. With this shoulder, a lot of boxers you'll see have this great, terrific way of just protecting their, them, themselves, and they're so relaxed. So much swagger, I want to be just like them. Uh, as far as your hands go, now this is important, okay? So this is your cage, all right? Your elbows, you don't want to see, you know, you don't have your hands up in the air like this, exposing your midriff. All right, keep your elbows in, protecting your ribs, okay? Keep the hands up so that they're in front of your face, right? So if you're caught up in it, you're in the middle of it, you want to just get into a habit, keep your hands up. I also used to get, I used to get yelled at all the time, keep my hands down, right? So I'm, I'm sparring like this, keeping the hands down. Yeah, that's fine if you want to get smacked across the face. So keep your hands up, all right? So <clears throat> you have your stance where you're, let's look at the focus on the upper body first. So your, your lead shoulder, if you're right-handed, that's your left shoulder. So your left shoulder's in front, chin is down, elbows are in, Okay, now let's talk about the fist real quick. So to make a proper fist, okay, knuckles in, knuckles in, and thumb on top. Okay, so none of this, okay, not, none of this stuff where you're, you got one knuckle sticking out and all that kind of rubbish. Now, make sure that your, these two knuckles are parallel with your wrist, all right? So you don't want no crooked knuckles if you hit a bag or you hit something with, you know, or a crooked fist like this. You can imagine what happens, boom, you know, you're going to really hurt your wrist. So make sure that they're parallel, you know, knuckle push-ups help a lot. If you want to get used to doing that. So your main focal point or point of contact is are those two knuckles. And eventually, of course, you can use your whole fist, but again, these two knuckles should be parallel to your wrist, okay? All right. And again, relax. So when you're... You don't want to be tense the whole time. You know, it, it uses up energy, number one. Um, and, and you, uh, or it's a telltale sign that, you know, you, you're nervous and your opponent's going to take advantage of that. So from here, relax and make a nice fist. And then at the moment of impact, that's when you're going to tighten up. So at the moment of impact, at the moment of impact, yes, you tighten up and then relax again. So relax, 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 tense and relax, okay? Again, we're gonna to get to the proper technique for all the punches down the road. I'm gonna make you a fighting machine here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not really a fighting machine. I'm a lover, not a hater, but uh, you know, it's a dangerous world out there. So let's go back to what we're talking about, the fighting stance. Elbows are in, feet are shoulder width wide, okay, and chin is down, okay? So from this fighting position, get comfortable. I want you to get comfortable from here. Get comfortable, okay? Your arms are up, chin is down, okay? Get comfortable. Okay, the first thing we're gonna work on from your fighting position, okay, is just movement, okay? So just comfortable, so you can bounce around and you can reset to here, okay? Just comfortable, comfortable. Bounce around and reset to here, you know? Just change it around, you know? You can, we're gonna talk about head movement and all that in our next segment. Okay, but just now, I'd like you to get the perfect stance. What works for you, okay? So everyone's different, everyone's built different. So use a position that feels comfortable for you. Just remember the basics. Keep your chin down, hands up, and relax. All right, that's it. Thanks. Have a good day. Practice hard.